<clears throat> oh, you've got to be kidding me. I spelled YouTube wrong. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> Dude, at least I spelled design right this time. Oh, no. I already see the comments. Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Sister here, bringing guys in a Photoshop tutorial here today. I actually brings a cool little picture influence, very highly uh, like professional looking, like simple lighting stuff for this banner. I have no clue what the title is going to be. Basically, it's just taking some pictures, putting some simple lighting effects on it, and making it look very, very nice and clean and professional. So we have here, I have an example for Voss and Wheels. I did this a couple weeks ago. I had some crazy great uh, feedback on it. Actually, the, the Voss and Wheels company actually saw it themselves. I did it for some practice. I did it for one of my favorite companies, and they actually saw it, which was just like a freaking awesome plus. So you never know what you can really do. Like I said before, you can always do these little practice banners or practice uh, advertising banners or practice whatever, and just maybe do it for a company. You never know. They might just see it, which is also pretty cool. So anyway, the example here, I actually took the same exact, uh, what do you call it? The <clears throat> For the pre previous tour I did where I did the... Uh, advertisement poster design with the LeBron James one where I told you guys I'm no longer using the eraser to blend things in in the background it's more of the pen tool that's what I did for this tutorial as well um, where I just you know took it you know took the uh, the wheel itself cut one side of the wheel out and then blended them together which is basically taking the second picture and put it below the other picture you'll understand what I'm gonna do after this tutorial anyway let's get going and we're gonna go ahead and make a new layer right now so don't forget guys 200 likes on this video equals the secret down below so if you leave a like i'll possibly put the psd of the Boston wheels uh youtube banner that i did so you guys want to use that to like case, take some more influence see how i did the lighting effects see how i blend things together and then just get some hands on like you know self practice with it so that's what the uh secret down is going to be so don't forget to leave a like anyway on this new layer we're going to go ahead and start this off right now we're going to make the preemptive highlights for this banner because it's going to be gray uh, it's going to be a great background everything else is just going to be simply lighting and then the picture's color itself to actually put the color in the banner so on this white foreground we're just going to change this hashtag or this hex code to 282828 28, which will set us up with a simple little gray color here that i'd like to start off when i'm doing this kind of style of banners i'm going to go ahead and make another new layer above this color we're going to use b on our keyboard to bring up the brush and we're going to go ahead and change the foreground color now from gray to white and we're going to go ahead and just do the simple little highlights here and you can use a brush if you have brush highlights. I'm just, I'm just going to use a simple soft brush for the highlights. And we're going to go ahead and just take this from normal and put it to overlay. And then right now we're just going to control click on these both two layers. We're going to go and control J to duplicate and then control E to merge together. And we're going to go ahead and just change this layer now from uh, normal to multiply. That way we get a darker color. And we can go ahead and just lower that to about 60 or so. And then we're basically set. The preemptive highlights are done. And now we're going to drag some pictures in. So, like I said, I did this for a company that's like more of an advertisement kind of like, you know, company banner design. But you can do this for yourself if you're doing like gameplay videos. Just take some pictures from your gameplay videos. Or if you have, if you like hands-on tech stuff where you have like do IRL stuff, you can take some pictures from your videos of your own, from like your, your own videos and just like print screen them. And then like drag them into Photoshop, get some pictures from there. Uh, or you can make some for other people as well. Like I'm pretty sure there's some YouTube banners out there with some popular youtubers who do some hands-on stuff like maybe like mkbhd where he has these really really crazy high quality videos takes a picture from them do it for, for him as well you can do it for him anyway i'm just trying to give you guys some ideas let's go ahead and keep going on this tutorial we're going to see some pictures now i'm going to use the same company i'm going to use different pictures though this time i have i have different uh colored actually wheels this time i did it for the first time i did it i only did gray graphite uh like wheels but this time i took some colored ones so there we go let's go ahead and just take number one here i'm going to drag it in like so and we're going to go ahead and we're going to control T, free transform it up, and then we're going to just basically shift click and then center this very, very nicely. So we're going to bring this over here. And like I said, the first time I did this, and actually the advertisement banner design I did for LeBron James, I talked about start and end. So the way I blend things together is like I use pen tool only right now. Like I'm no reason not I'm not using the eraser and like erasing an edge there and then putting the the, the picture and trying to erase it and blend. Like that's too much work. And at the end of the day, it does not look as clean as actually just taking the pen tool and then maybe following around a curve. So like for this example here, I'd probably use uh, the wheel to actually just curve around, and then I'll just cut the, this part out right here on this side. Right click, make selection, enter delete. I'll probably do something like this and then put the next picture below this one. But you know, this is what I would do for like a wheel. But if I was doing it for other things that don't have like a uh, like a defined start, start and end point, I would go ahead and do something like this this time. So I'm going to go ahead and go all the way back. So this is something for you, you can probably do at first. So if you want to do, if you're not too like crazy with the pen tool, you can just simply just use diagonals on your pen tool to actually make simple cuts. So I'm just going to go ahead and click once and click on a diagonal like little like edge here. I'm going to go ahead and go around the picture here, 
right click make selection press enter on my keyboard or OK and then press delete and then you can see it just basically cuts out a diagonal. Now this is something if you can just do if you don't want to have like a certain endpoint like I did before. So I'm going to take the second picture. I can just drag it below it now and it is, this will just continuously look very clean even to how many pictures I put. It'll just look clean no matter what. So I'm going to go ahead and just shift and drag that over here. Put it back over here and then I will go ahead and do it again. So the diagonal uh, pen tool cut just like so. Right click, make selection, delete, press OK. And then I'll do this a couple more times, so like something like this. So this is looking pretty good right now. I'm just I'm only using diagonals. I'm not using like the uh, like following a certain endpoint. And it looks still looking really really nice. So you can do the vertical if you wanted to. You can you don't have to do like diagonal. You can do a horizontal. Just having fun with the pen tool really. And I'll go ahead and do this again. Make selection, delete. <clears throat> and this actually that this diagonal cut was a little off, so I would have to fix this. I don't like how that looks. Go ahead and fix that. Just click on the point with control, and then I'll fix it. There we go. That looks a lot more better. And I'll go ahead and just set the fourth one in. And I might not have to cut this one in. I can just shrink it. I can just leave it like so because it'll just start like this. There we go. Yeah, perfect. So you can see what I did there. It was very, very simple stuff. I just literally used the pen tool to cut in a diagonal line, which gave us like really nice cuts in the background of the pictures now. So it just looks very nice and clean, formal. I didn't I didn't use a start and end point, like I said. I use I didn't cut around the wheel. This looks fine itself. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and con uh, control G on these layers. So I'm going to hold shift and click on all these layers, control G to group them up. I'm just going to name this pictures for now. And I'm going to go ahead and I will just go ahead and just change this from pass through wherever it is to multiply. And now this is where it's going to be looking pretty cool. So I'm going to load this opacity down to about 80%. And I'm going to go ahead, if I find, like you see like what I said preemptive highlights in the beginning of the video, this is, you can see the highlights here. This is where we put the... Uh, on the background, this is where we put the highlights here, right? So that you can see on the pictures now, you can see the highlights there as well. But I kind of think it's a little bit too dark. And this is actually pretty cool. I didn't mean to do this, but the diagonals slowly like go more to the left. Where you can see it kind of it kind of looks like it's shrinking with the size. That looks pretty damn cool. I didn't even do that. On, I didn't do that on purpose. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go to my adjustment layers really quickly. And I'm gonna go to brightness and contrast right above my my background, but below my pictures. And I'm gonna go ahead and just mess around with the contrast a little bit. I'm gonna lower the contrast, up my brightness. I think that'll look a little bit better in this. Yeah, that thing looks a lot better, actually. So you can see here, very simple stuff. I only used the brightness and contrast so far. Simple highlights. My pictures were blended in with just a vertical cut with a pen tool. And now we can just do some simple lighting stuff. So the tricks that I always do here, I have the portfolio crop here. I'm just going to control click on this thumbnail. On this portfolio crop, I actually have this. So if we do hit 200 likes on this video for the secret download, I will put the PSD. You'll actually be able to see the portfolio crop as well. And of course, you can delete or like group everything together that I did on the Boston PSD. Actually, well, I'll have that for your for yourself. But if you're gonna use the same exact uh, template, the YouTube template that I have here, you'll have this thing so you can do this as well. Otherwise, you would have to, if you're doing like a different banner, if you don't have a portfolio crop, just make a new layer. You can just go ahead and just use uh, M on your keyboard for the rectangle marquee tool. Start at one edge of the banner design and then go to the next edge over here. And there we go, there we have something like that. That's just another way to cutting it out. I just have a, I have that like already set for a template here. And I'm gonna do this time. Uh, you already know this step, right? You ever heard of select, modify, border? I'm gonna do two, two different things this time. I'm gonna put this pixel size to two. And I'm gonna go ahead on this new layer, alt backspace again, because I already have on my foreground color white and that's what I need. I'm gonna go ahead and press control D to deselect. And I'm gonna just change this to overlay. And I'm just gonna leave this like so. And you can see it, 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 well, it just looks very, very good. If you can, you can see the difference here. I'm gonna zoom in, you can see it just gives it like a nice sharp edge to this banner design. It looks very, very clean. You can see if you look over here a little more, you can see like some sharp edges now. I'm going to do this one more time though. So I'm going to go ahead and just make a new layer, uh, select my, my banner again, and I'm going to go ahead and go to select, modify, border, but I'm going to change it to about five or six pixels this time. So I'm going to go ahead and press five, press OK. Same thing with alt bank space on the white. And I'll do the overlay again, change it to overlay again. And this time on this one, I'm going to use my eraser, a nice soft brush eraser. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just click and drag and erase around some edges and this will give it a basic like lighting effect around the banner. This looks very clean already and that's basically what I wanna do for that right here. And now for now, I can just actually add some text in. It's it's really simple to do, I told you. Uh, Vossen Wheels and I'm gonna go ahead and just like bold the main like uh, company name which is Vossen here and it looks pretty cool. And since their main color is red, I'm just gonna change it to red as well, just so I can follow their uh, example there. 
And of course, every company has their cheesy little slogan. Theirs was like something with like most watch wheels or whatever. I'm just gonna put like YouTube banner design tutorial. <clears throat> Go ahead and just shrink that a little bit. And of course, I know if I don't fix this, you guys will literally, oh my God, you spelled it wrong. <laughs> every single time, I swear. Change that to white for now. And I'm gonna go ahead and just change this to next to light. Shrink this down a little bit. Like so. That'll work, right? Yep, that'll work. Move that here. And of course, I already have this here as well. So I'll just put this here. Like the social media stuff, I could put it on this side or whatever, like so. Looks pretty cool. And as well as their logo, I'll put this below this as well. Why not? I already have this stuff here. And there we go. I would center it nice and well as well. <laughs> How many times am I gonna say as well? All right, move that off my arrow keys, and there we go. I just basically set it up with like simple, like literally simple, like uh, font stuff. So I had uh, Nexa Bold is what I use, Nexa Bold and Light to separate the two different uh, words. This is pretty cool to do as well. I do that a lot. So now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish this off with a simple light on the top of everything. So above my, uh, my above my text, I'm making another new layer with my brush. A nice bigger brush though. If you can't see your brush, you probably have cap locks on. Uh, Control Alt right click, make it a little more bigger this time. Diameter maybe like one, yeah, twelve hundred is fine. And then click once, and you can see you get this very simple lighting effect. And with the lighting effect like I was preemptively made with the background color, it just looks very very good. And to set everything off, you can as well just go ahead and just add some brightness and contrast adjustments. Uh, we can mess around with this a little bit. Contrast up a little bit. Brightness. A little bit more farther up that'll work and then maybe some curves like a simple s curve right i can just make it look as good as you want and of course you can add any other highlights of uh, like like light what i would actually do is i told you i, I show you how to do the uh, little light thing here or the little line thing here it's the way i did this is i went ahead on um, above my layer i made a new layer with my pen tool i can just go ahead and click and i can just do whatever i really want i can actually do something like this i can follow the uh the cut the little diagonal cut Something like that, right? <clears throat> and if I do this, if I right click, stroke path, use the pen, uh, the pencil tool, and make sure your foreground color is white, press OK, right click, delete path, you can see the line actually basically follows the pen, uh, the pen tool's path. So you do this as much as you want, really. I can just do it as really much as I want. I'll do it over here this time. Why not? And it's just another simple little thing you can do. Stroke path, right click, stroke path, pencil, and then right click, delete path. There you guys see. You can see it's very simple to do, but with the pencil, it kind of looks really weird when you do it on a diagonal. That's why I only do straight lines. And I don't know, this kind of like, it kind of looks weird. But I'll just keep it for now. Actually, I'll do it again. Why not? I'll do what I did before. Boom, 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 and like follow like that. That'll work. Whatever. Right? It's cool. Right click, stroke path, pencil. Okay, you can see that there. That's how I did the little line thing. So there we go. It looks very clean as well. Like it's just very, I don't know, it looks very freaking good. When you take your time on it, if you put highlights like on the wheels, like what I did was before at the end of it, I kind of put like, or below everything, like besides the pictures. Above the pictures, I took a white brush. <clears throat> and since I had like a focus on the wheels, I took the white brush, I went around and kind of like colored the wheels a little bit. I did do this. You'll be able to see it in the PSD when you guys hit the secret download, of course. I did do this and kind of like highlighted the wheels a little bit and I put it on overlay and just gave it more focus on the wheels which actually looked pretty dang cool and there we go why not it's I didn't do it as of course as proper as I should have but there you can see I just put some highlights in different spots and at the end of it it looked very very good play around with your uh, brightness and contrast and your curve on your CC and then you're set so I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video today uh, hopefully guys you can I hit some really I want to see some really clean stuff here this is like really moving on from like the 3d stuff I did and some other 2d like 2d like random shape stuff I want to keep it like very nice and clean formal and very minuscule I think simplistic is the way to go when I, when I talk about 2d but of course there's a whole bunch of different styles but I love 2d simplistic stuff so if you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like don't forget to follow me on Twitter at SysWHQ and check out my cell phone selfie.com uh, slash SysWHQ for any pre-mades and packs as low as $5 Thank you guys so much for watching. Since we chew out, peace.